<laughs> Let's talk about everybody's favorite subject, weight and balance. Well, maybe it's not everybody's favorite subject because some pilots find weight and balance occasionally complicated and confusing. But the FAA wants you to know about weight and balance so you're not in the quandary of this hapless pilot who can't figure out what he's supposed to do about weight and balance in this 172. Because it can be tough. So let's see if we can figure out weight and balance. And never fear, we've got a demonstration to show you just how easy weight and balance is. How similar it is to putting kids or any other kind of weight on a teeter-totter. Maybe even a big kid like this. So we'll put this kid on the teeter-totter and see what happens. And son of a gun, I don't think this teeter-totter is in balance. Let's talk about how similar weight and balance is to putting kids on a teeter-totter. Now let's see if you and I can figure out how to tell when a teeter-totter is in balance. And we'll put some weights on this teeter-totter and see if it's in balance. But to do that, let's first develop a numbering system so we can talk about where we're putting those weights. Let's make a zero point. By the way, in airplanes, they call the point you're measuring from or the zero point the datum line. So the zero point is a point that we're measuring from, and we'll call it the datum line. And by the way, you can put the zero point anywhere you want. You can put it on the left end of the teeter-totter. You can put it over here on the right end of the teeter-totter, anywhere in between, or even off the end of the teeter-totter, and it does not matter. So we put the zero point on the left side of the teeter-totter. Now these numbers across here are the distance from the datum line how far you are from the datum line, and you can use any kind of units you want. You can use inches or feet or whatever you want. And so we've got these numbers that are called arms. They're how far you are from the datum line at one, two, three, four, and five, and so on. So this is the zero point, and these are the arms or the distances from the zero point that we're calling the datum line. Now let's put some weights on here. All these weights are going to be 100 pounds. So we'll put these 100 pound weights on the teeter-totter. And we got 100 pounds position A, a, B, and C. Now we know that 100 pounds applied way out here at C is worth a lot more than 100 pounds applied here closer into the fulcrum. So it not only matters how much weight you're putting on the teeter-totter, but it also matters where they are. So to see if this teeter-totter is going to be in balance, let's construct a table. And the table goes like this. It goes item, weight, arm, and moment. Well, the items are these weights. They are A, B, and C. The weights are 100 pounds each, and the arms are where they are on this teeter-totter. We've got 100 pounds at position 2, 100 pounds at position 4, and 100 pounds over here at position number 9. Now, the moments is the force on the teeter-totter compared to the measuring point or the datum line. The moment is the force that would make the teeter-totter pivot around the point that you chose as your datum line. So the moment will be weight times arm. So the moment for item A would be 200. The moment for item B would be 100 times 4, or 400. And the moment for item C would be 100 times 9, or 900. So now we figured out the total weights. The total weights are 300, and the total moments are 1,500. Now, to figure this out, we're going to use a formula. And the formula goes like this. It'll be total moment divided by total weight. And that's the center of gravity, center of gravity or the average arm. So let's do it. It's 1,500 divided by 300. And the average arm or the center of gravity is at 5. So son of a gun, this teeter-totter is in balance right smack dab in the center of the teeter-totter. Right as it is, it's in balance. See? Nothing to it. You said horse feathers. Horse feathers? Listen, it doesn't matter how far the items are from the left end of the teeter-totter. What matters is how far they are from the center of the teeter-totter. Hmm. Well, if that's the way you feel about it, let's just measure from the center of the teeter-totter. And let's call all the numbers on the left-hand side minus numbers, so we'll know whether we're talking about the left-hand side or the right-hand side. And the numbers on the right-hand side we'll call plus numbers. Now, let's put the weights on the teeter-totter in exactly the same position. And they're still 100 pounds each. But now, measuring from the center of the teeter-totter, weight A is going to be at minus 3, weight B is at minus 1, and weight C is over here at plus 4. So now let's see if this teeter-totter is in balance. And to do that, let's use our chart that says item weight, 
arm and moment. And the items, as it was before, are A, B, and C. The weights are all 100 pounds each for a total weight of 300 pounds. But the arm measuring from the center for item A is going to be minus 3, and a moment is weight times arm, or minus 300. Measuring from the center, item B will be minus 1, weight times arm is minus 100. And item C, measuring from the center, is over here at plus 4, weight times arm equals 400. So we total up the total moments. I get minus 3, minus 1, minus 400, plus 400. The total moments total up to 0. The total weights are still 300. And so we'll use our formula, total moment of uh, total moment divided by total weight equals center of gravity or average arm. The total moments are 0. Total weight's 300. 0 divided by anything still comes out to 0 and the center of gravity, or average arm, is at zero, and son of a gun. This teeter-totters in balance in the center right where it was in the first place. So it doesn't matter where you put the datum line. Manufacturers of aircraft know that, so they put the datum line somewhere up near the front. It can go back and forth, but generally they put it somewhere up near the front of the aircraft. And then they publish a different arm or a distance back for everything in the airplane. For instance, they publish an arm or a distance back for the oil, an arm or a distance back for the pilot and passenger in the front seat, or an arm or a distance back for the fuel, another arm or distance back for the pilots or the passengers that would be in the rear seat, and there's an arm or a distance back for the mother-in-law in the baggage compartment. <laughs> in other words, there's a different arm published for everything in the airplane.